Welcome back. Extreme Gaming up against Team Liquid. Extreme Gaming, they also looked very good at Bad Boom Dacha. They mm -hmm. started with 7-1 and one yeah. in the group stage, got dropped down to lower bracket, and this is where Team Liquid eliminated them from the tournament. Extreme Gaming? Oh, that's right. Or Aurora? Dragon's back. That was oh! Or the Dragon. That wasn't... Yeah, that was uh, very far. Trapnel! Shrapnel, slow him down, Crystal Maiden. Oh, did get a lot of damage there underneath the shrapnel. They're gonna take so oh. much damage out of this. They're gonna get a second kill, perhaps. Who's it gonna be on? They're gonna chase down Mickey. One more slow and a shot or two will do the job. XM, great start for him. He wasn't pulling behind tower. Yeah, he was. Did you not see him? No, he was just trying to pull it to the side, to, like force the creeps under. He wasn't trying to dodge the entire lane, if that's what you're asking. Sure, sure, but I'm just still saying, like, the, the point that he has to do it, do something oh, like 33. that. 33. 33 is just going to stand and fight, but Ame has burned out both of their mana, so he can actually run down both of them, potentially, and get the courier. Ame. Big trade for them. Slow down, and uh, free kills for Ame. Boy, I mean, he died that one time, but he comes back, and, I mean, he'll eventually get this. Foxy's not going to be able to get this kill by himself, surely. I think he just wants to trade it out, go base, come back. Yeah. I mean, what's the point That's of staying fair. here when... I respect that play. It does open up some space mid where... Yeah, got Nisha, the old. he saw the opportunity. The support okay. so focused on the bottom lane. He makes a dive onto the sniper. That's, I, I, I hate... One part I hate about playing Maiden is that she always does not feel great at being able to hold towers by herself. Big shackle. Ame joining in on this fight is kind of an interesting move here. They did need the extra damage because Nisha is still not dead. The assassinate, it won't do it either. The power shot doesn't land from Jin Q. Nisha managed to sidestep that one nicely. The reactive taser will protect Boxy from the sniper. Did he have an arcane rune? He's got another dragon form coming back up. So they're gonna they're gonna go again. Yeah, this is what you want. This is just GG territory, you know. This is where the mid player Flames his supports and says, where's my help? Dooms one and tries to run interference on the others. Mickey is walking away outside of vision. He goes back into it with the God Strength. Challenging in Q. Away. And he's going to kill him. Wind. That is a very obnoxious spell to fight into. I mean, even not even fighting into it, I think it's great for just being able to push out that mid lane, right? You can do it from such a distance. 33 gets grabbed. The damage will be enough. Oh, they are going to mass rotate. Now that they saw some heroes mid, they know that Nisha is relatively alone here. He, yeah, he got the tower, but against all of these heroes, as long as XSS can grab him, he's almost there, gets him. Now with the grab there, it'll allow everybody else to be able to follow up. And once you're in close range with XM, you're not really going anywhere. Doom, the main. Have mercy. Cessation. Extra stats and HP aren't bad. I don't know. I'm still kind of mixed on that hero, but I still feel like a good old-fashioned blink at the right timing is, is nice, you know? Insania has been in the game for a while now. TP's coming in. Boxy, gonna lead the chart here, trying to catch whatever heroes they can. It's gonna be both supports. Though one of them slipped away with the Glimmer Cave, so it'll take a little bit Did he though? to run him down. I mean, he didn't slip far, because unfortunately he has the lowest base move speed in the game, but... <laughs> <laughs> Liquid's still lingering down here. I mean, they know the Doom was top, so this is... That's just a freebie. Mickey looking to maybe go back in, though. He's got everything available. Oh, the blast off landed on the two of them. Yeah, Glimmer Cape that. And because they have a Dragonite, God Strength going off. Oh, can they actually got the Wind Ranger somewhere in the jungle there? Yeah, he got doomed. Anyway, because of these two cores, they'll be able to get the tier 2 tower. Looks like XXS. No BKB. Not going to be able to BKB on slot off that. So XM, because oh, of XXS's positioning, is also going to get caught on this. All of a sudden, Liquid have some serious momentum to work with. If Ame can't even win with it, I mean, what are we doing here? XM. 
way pretty far out there considering the lack of towers here and big uh, anime protagonist vibes from any AM picker. Oh, I mean, of course. Yeah, the anime factor. Oh, we get a quick pick. That's something. Break the smoke. 33 blinks back before XXS can grab him. That gives him the space to get the Roshan. Now maybe they can join in on the fight before 33 dies. And Sandy tries to grab him, trying to help out, but he's joining 33 in death here through the AM or through AM. the uh, Doom on the AM illusion. That damage looked pretty good. Not bad. That was a lot faster than I expected. And they got, they got Mickey with an oh, assassinate. He's got he had no Mickey anyway. Are they just going to lose two lives? He has no god strength. Yeah, this is uh, that two for one special. Or oh, he didn't even have the Aegis. He's just buffing up the team. Big Aura is coming out. Solar yep. Crush Greaves. Ooh, assassinate. Now gets grabbed by XXS and Xenia blink forward. They're just trying to catch Heroes, but it trouble. does look like yep, they have he's... jumped themselves a little bit too far ahead. Mickey's going to jump and try and help Niche out here with this grab onto the Primal Beast. They do finally get that kill, but XM has uh, just kind of been sitting in the back doing a lot of damage. The reactive Taser slows it down, but eventually they'll Ame. get it on his techies. But Ame go too deep. He got did. him on the Doom. Finally got through the Lincolns and the Spell Shield, and they lock him down. He had a chance to win. Okay, that was actually brutal. <laughs> Ame hunting. He's done. He's done farming. There's the assassinate. It's a grab from XXS. Chain stun combination. The and once again, it's brought the Dragonite low. Gone. And this time they'll be able to finish the job because no one else from Liquid is here to join in this fight. I feel like a lot of the fights that have looked good have. Uh, okay. Yeah. Some, some sort of misjudgment of the go there. And now they've. Well, they're in trouble. Really messed this one up. Pulls him in with the harpoon on yeah, the side of Mickey, but he's well, just got a BKB and get out of here, I think. Make a run for it. 33, he does the same, but Mickey doesn't have the same kind of luxury. Box, he's trying to help him out what here. Shackle. And it actually might have been able to do it, but the shackle really screwing things up. And there it is, the mana void to finish him. I mean, he gets Aegis here. He's Box, he's, he's going to be here just a little bit too late. Blast off in the pit after they've already killed the Roshan. Taking the spoils. Oh, 33 still going to go for the initiation, though. But the Ag's Doom, Can't that is an him. answer to the AM if he can find the real one. None of these are real AM. The real AM is long and gone. Aegis for four and a half minutes. You have four single target stuns, and you're trying to catch an AM with Lincolns. It's the stuff of nightmares, man. Oh, Telekinesis himself. You're not making it out, though. I don't think so. Another Glimmer Cape. A little bit more time. He tries to double back just outside of mission. No way. He had the gem, too. Damn. That's, that's a nice pickup here. Evasion on a hero that had no business getting it. Nice Glimmer Cape reaction. Wasting a lot of time and here. Off the, that shard. Get oh, the frost off the Sven controls all these heroes. I bump him up, but he just Come cannot on. get off the spells in time. It's a disaster. D -Y. Jack disaster once again. Insaney will get away with just a couple of slick moves here and there, but it doesn't matter. DY just way too fast there. Oh, I actually got him on the dragon tail there. XXS. Starts pounded away. Good blast off from Boxy, but is he really doing much? No, that's AM. Feels invincible right now. Yeah, well, they can poke on Ooh. some of the other heroes, and that's going to be XXS. See you later. It's by Insania. So that's one of the counter plays that is getting pretty important at this point. You can't get anybody else, man. The detection's just. It's lacking. The lowest probability play catches the greatest players because they refuse to expect it. It's actually the one to break the smoke with his illusions in tow. Once again, they're going to try and grab him. Oh, but Mickey a, is able to well, follow this up a little bit faster than the last time. That shackle shot is beautiful. Locking down the Doom, who'd already used his Aghanim's Doom on himself. Not going to be able to catch illusions. anything in this once again. The illusions are going to start poking at him. And Ame jumping forward now. Going to claim the life of the Sven. No problem shackle. with another shackle shot. A blast off that comes in. Slowing him down some heroes, but they don't have any damage to really capitalize on it. That means that Liquid are just full out retreating. Might be able to get away on Nisha, but it looks like Insania shot down by the Assassinate. You're looking at Feather Butterfly AM now. This matchup's just a nightmare. Yeah, he can't go toe to toe against the AM. I feel like he, he did really his job against the Wind Ranger. Assassinate. 
into these grabs from Primal Beast over and over again. This is going to be a Doom that will not be able to use his Aghanim Scepter Doom a single time against the enemy. They cannot find the Anti-Mage, man. The, the illusions are just way too much right now. And that's Omega's out of nowhere. Look at the poke here. It's hey, okay, there's okay. that AU. Oh, no, it. He's being pulled off of the AM with the Shackle Shot once again from Shin Q. He has absolutely countered this to uh, DM. Ah, extreme. Yeah, he's just putting on a one. clinic against Liquid here, making it look easy, easy, easy to win with an AM. I, I love watching Shin Q play, man. That this guy, who is an Oracle specialist, isn't even Grandmaster tier Oracle. That he's level 29. Nothing. That proves, well, okay, he's close. My, my point is, is just the hero's just been bad so often, he can't even play it enough to get to level 30. To be fair, though, it's kind of a bad pub hero, too. That's true. That feels real bad. Level 3 Sven walking to base, no boots. Nisha! Gonna get run down, does have match Go one on. with the Ranger off, turn around, XM! Misjudged that one! Damn. 33 pressing with the catapult, but they already brought the support. They nice were ready move. for this. In Q. This aggression is amping up. Ame doesn't have a lane to play with. They needed something to uh, deter what was going on. It does leave XXS alone. He was doing some sort of deep creep cutting shenanigans to enable that play for the Batrider. He does end up dying for it, though. Jungle Invasion did not end up getting that rune, however. Yeah, maybe just look for the bigger prize. XXS again. XM, it was a really nice split earth on two. They chain that stun, but they can't get the damage through. Nisha still has plenty of mana to work with, so he's gonna lay that damage back onto XM. Nikki does end up dying, but he got to join in the kill first. So he gets all the experience, he gets the stat st steal as well, and they'll clean up Shin Q. One for three exchange to the favor of Team Liquid. And that's the power of fake Zedic, man. It, it is gonna wreck XM's game here. Does leave 33 alone and hold extreme gaming gets a good response. This black hole is going to get at least one kill out of this situation. The Eidolons might be okay. The Eidolons die instantly. That happened. Never did mind. Not hit the primal. That was that was honestly just a little unlucky. Kind of respect this move. He's got a mech. He's ready to brawl. This is the other style of 33 we talked about as well. The Aura 33. Yep. Here to brawl. Here to fight. Get active early. XM slowed down by the tree throw. Toss goes over. Trying to make sure the Storm Spirit would die. Does result in Batrider being able to walk free. He knows his Oracle is always going to be there to back him up. That's a bold steal there, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what <laughs> DOI thought. Cut through down to bottom lane, which That's is nice. currently being hit by the Edict. They know it too. Yeah, this is a nice move from Liquid. They should be able to clean up here. Oh, yeah, especially if they get the initiation with the Orchid onto the left track. First, the best target to blow up. No damage on the side of Extreme. Just full out left away. That looked cool. It did look kind of cool. A few hundred gold behind all the other Liquid cores. Orchid follow up after the combo. Yule Scepter just got delivered. We'll get rid of that, but it's still coming back to absolute hell as Nisha unleashes that firepower onto Leshrac to finish him off, and Mickey's there to back him up to make sure the Primal Beast can't do anything to threaten his mid laner. In fact, they'll run down XXS. Can't even get back to the tier three in Damn. time. Actually, at the damage for that. They see that smoke get used. Yeah, they're just gonna break up your board, but. The preemptive trap set up by Liquid. A little bit too grouped up. Can't immediately get anything off of that one. Last one jumping. Does manage to get the grab. They're going all in for the Oracle, but he got a Fates Edict off on himself. So all the damage from the Primal Beast is for naught. Now Nisha has just enough mana to be able to zip away. They give him the False Promise just to make sure he's going to be good. He has double damage too. So it's dangerous to fight him in this period of time. Even the physical damage is beginning to overwhelm Ame as he tries to make his way back. Interrupted XM hits the Split Earth, but it's not good enough. Mickey has hit the pounce and brought down Ame. While the rest of the team Hold deals with XM. Now the Jump forward, toss in, 33, hits the Malphys to try and chase down XX as he has the black hole. He's thinking about but it. But he holds on to it for now. Mickey sees an opportunity to catch the Batrider. It's the charge back in now. <laughs> okay. All right, just clean up the entire team. DUI's going to run in here. I for mean, what he reason, I have no clue. He stole black hole. He did. He'll get to use it in the grave as now you get to run heroes down past a tier three at 15 minutes. We go from liquid 
trying to farm for the late game with a Midas bot's doom to 33 is black holding you behind your tier 3 at 15. This team is hitting every extreme in the book. Yeah, before we're even done with replay, we're back into another fight. Still has with Mac Lotus. BT Nick doesn't have the false promise, but he does have the Mac, and he does have Lotus to be able yeah, to eat 33, so much heal. And now the damage is done. They couldn't finish off the Enigma. They've overextended themselves right into the arms of the rest of Liquid, who will happily claim the four lives of oh. fifth one from XX. That's it. That's it, GG. Wow. God damn. I mean, this game is over. Like, this is not a lineup that is going to come back in this game. And I think it's just a straight out draft.